much for watching today's video. I'm going to be doing a product review on the Baby Einstein's Neighborhood Symphony Walker. If your infant is between the ages of 6 months and 12 months, then this video is going to be for you. I'm going to be giving an overall review of what the walker does, if it's a good walker, things that I like, didn't like, and if it's something that you should put on your baby registry. Or if you're someone who's in the market to buy this walker for someone, I'm going to give you all the details to make sure this is the perfect fit for you. So if you're interested in this type of video, then make sure to keep on watching. Now I'm going to go into a few highlights about the walker. Explore music and the world before independent walking. It introduces music, colors, and instruments. It has three different height positions to adjust as your baby grows. The music is themed. It has multi sensory, so for multi sensory play. The seat is cushioned and everything is machine washable. going to need to assemble it with an adult one person can usually do it I actually made a reel on Instagram of me assembling the walker so I will definitely make sure to link that in the description box below so that you can see for yourself how easy it is to put together the recommended ages for this walker is between 6 to 12 months which is why I mentioned that if your child is in the middle to late stages of infancy this would be a recommended product for you to check out the overall weight of the walker is 12 pounds so it's easy to move around your house or apartment or any place that you're going it has a non-slip grip it meets all the government and industry standards regarding safety it holds up to 26 pounds we do know that some babies as they get closer to 12 months weigh more than 20 pounds so that's very important to keep that in mind should your baby be on the heavier end of the spectrum you're definitely going to need three AA batteries that are not included as i mentioned everything is machine washable and it has a one year product warranty we purchased this item from target but you could also find it on amazon really any place that will sell baby products bye bye baby has it so just make sure to check a local retailer to make sure that it's available in your area as you've been watching the video i'm going to make sure to go in and out so that you can see uh, my son interacting with it so you get a better idea of his overall impressions but let's just start with the overall would i recommend this product and i would say it's a very good product but here were some of the cons with the product. We're going to start with that first because I think that's extremely important to make sure that before you buy this product, you know what you're going to be getting yourself up against with it. I will definitely say one of the things is that the wheels are very low to the ground. So the, the biggest space in our home where we can allow like our son to play is our living room. And the type of rug that we currently have in the living room it's pretty high so the wheels are not able to get traction on our living room and as well as in the rooms with carpet the type of carpet that we have the wheels are not able to gain traction so that's one of the things that we were that we found to be a little bit disappointing is that because the wheels were super low to the ground we weren't really able to use the walker in its full capacity we only have a small a small space in our home where there's no carpet, it's hardwood floors, so unless he was in the kitchen, which doesn't have a lot of space, 
or walking up and down our hallway, which is really narrow, he wasn't really able to use the walker. We got the walker when he was between 10 to 11 months of age. So we were a little later in his infancy in getting a walker. And for us, it was just because he was showing so many signs that he was going to walk without the walker. We were a little bit hesitant to get it. So that's one thing you definitely wanna make sure that you check out with your child to make sure that they're not showing signs of walking. I think if we had gotten it like when he was six, seven months, we would have gotten more use out of it. But my son started walking at 11 months, so we only had it for a couple of weeks, and then he began walking. So for us, it wasn't really useful, but I will definitely say if you're getting it in the middle part of their infancy between six to eight months, you will definitely find you'll have more use out of it. That was the main thing that we disliked about the walker is that we couldn't really use it because of how our home is situated. So make sure that you have really flat surfaces, a large area where you're able to use the walker and I think you'll find that you get the best benefit out of it. I know a lot of walkers are like that, but we like Baby Einstein products in general. A lot of Noah's toys are from Baby Einstein, so that's why we went ahead with the walker. But I think in hindsight, we probably would have just waited and not got the walker for him or find another walker that had bigger heels that could gain traction on our particular floor. The good thing about it is that it is a Baby Einstein toy and with all of their toys, you're going to get the Baby Einstein just ecosystem. One is that it plays lots of bright lights, lots of sound, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> and it's really, really taps into the sensory play that they need. It comes in three languages, which is English, Spanish, and French, and usually it will count, it will, they will sing, and the drums, and it has like a spin part, all that Noah loves to play with. We have the jumper by Baby Einstein, so he was so used because the colors are very similar, they're very bright, he would try to jump in it, and then when he realized he couldn't jump in it, that's when he would start walking. I would say the other pro is that because they're learning to walk, babies want to open drawers, they want to open everything. So the walker actually prevented him from opening like the kitchen cabinets. So if you have cabinets like most people who uh, have handles low on the floor or at, you know, a uh, chest level, it will prevent your baby from opening that. And the, because it has such a wide turn and while they're in it, they're not quite sure how to turn. That's the other benefit is that because their turns are so wide, like when they're trying to do a turnabout, you don't have to really worry about them having any issue of bumping into things, running into things, because it's pretty wide, the circumference. And that's another thing that we liked about it is that he wasn't able to get to things easier. And if we needed to turn him around, we had more control in doing that. Overall, as I mentioned, I think this is a really good product, but I would definitely recommend making sure you get it, it getting it in the beginning of the middle stages of their infancy. So I would say between six to seven months. As I mentioned, our son was already on the verge of walking. So once he started walking, he didn't like being put in the walker. So it was no use for us even doing the walker anymore. But it's still a good product because we still turn it on and he can play with the drums and all the other toys that are on there as well as listen to the sounds and it plays music and it talks in the three different languages, which is super important for building language. And it's still a good product. It just wasn't probably the product that we needed based on his stage in his infancy. I will list all the details of the product as well as where you can find it here as well as on my blog, which is called loveaprilkc.com. It's a lifestyle blog that goes from motherhood, home, travel, fashion, beauty, and more. Until next time, take care. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to tune in to this playlist for more baby development items that you might need for your little one. Take care. See you next video.